Welcome to our tutorial on using construction geometry. In this segment, we're going to be looking at a few examples of using construction geometry. First, I'm going to right click, select Insert Sketch. Now let's activate the Line tool. And let's create a shape. Right click, select. Let's use the three point arc tool now. Something like this. Right click and select. Now let's apply some sketch fillets. A 10 millimeter radius will be fine. Let's accept. Now let's use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle. Under options, let's check for construction. Click OK. Activate the center line command. Let's create a construction line between these two corners. Right click, select. Next, control select the center point and the center line. We'll add a midpoint relation. Click OK. The origin point is now located at the center of the rectangle. Now we're going to apply some dimensions. This dimension will be, let's say, 100 millimeters. We'll make this one 120. Now let's control select this line and this line. And we'll add a collinear relation. Click OK. This line and control select this line. Collinear. OK. This line. Control select this line. Again, a collinear relation. OK. Now we'll select the arc and this line. We'll add a tangent relation. Click OK. Control select these two points. Add a horizontal relation. OK. Let's add one more dimension. We'll make this 95 millimeters. Tab OK. Right click and select. You see in this case that the construction geometry helped us fully define the sketch and also helped us to see how the geometric relations in the sketch were created. Okay, let's create a circle. Right click, select. Let's dimension our circle. We'll give it a 12 millimeter diameter. Okay. Right click, select. Let's use the center line command again. Right click, select. And let's dimension it. We'll insert an angular dimension here. 112 degrees, OK. Right click, select. Now let's control select this line and the center of the circle. Let's add a coincident relation. Click OK. Let's add one more dimension from the center of the circle to the origin point. You see here that the dimension moves based on where my mouse is hovering. When you're satisfied with the dimension's orientation, right click and the dimension becomes locked. You'll see the lock sign on the mouse. If you want to unlock the dimension, just right click again and the dimension becomes unlocked. Again, let's right click. And left click when you're satisfied with the position of the dimension. Let's enter 45, OK. Right click, select. Now let's delete this angular dimension. Activate the point tool. Let's drop a point right about here. Right click, select. Let's say I want the position of this construction line to be driven by the distance along this line from this point. Let's activate the Smart Dimension tool. Select this point, this point. And to create a dimension along this line, select this line. 
Left click. Let's say the distance is 75 millimeters. OK. Right click, select. Now I'll control select this point and this line. Add a coincident relation, OK. This is another example of how to use construction geometry to constrain and better visually understand your sketch. Let's exit the sketch. Activate the extrude tool. Something like 3 millimeters. OK. This concludes our tutorial on using construction geometry.